What's up guys, welcome to Dyna Demos. I'm Rod and today I'm gonna to be installing the PowerVision Tuner by DynoJet on my 2016 Dyna Lowrider S. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. What's up guys, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be installing the DinoJet PowerVision Tuner. I've had this tuner for probably like six months, uh, just been dragging my feet, moved, started a new job, been traveling a lot, million excuses, but basically I've been dragging my feet. Alright, so the tuner looks like this, alright, I'm really excited about this. Looks like this, and I actually got this dash cutout by Kitzel. They sent me this a while ago as well, and I'm super excited about installing this because it's gonna the tuner is gonna go on my dash just like this. All right. And additionally, one other thing I had to do in order to run this tuner was on the Dyna Lowrider S, the 2016. Um, there's only one six-pin connection, and that's already being used by my fan for my oil cooler. So since I want to run both my oil cooler and the PowerVision, I had to buy this, uh, this splitter. So I'm going to hook all of it up. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So I've already taken apart um, a few things. I took out the electrical uh, compartment cover and I disconnected the six pin from the connector that I have controlling my fan. So I'm going to do now is I'm going to figure out how to route that harness and then I'm going to uh, route it and route it up to my dash so I can get the tuner installed and turned on. So I had to uh, cut a bunch of zip ties from where me and Lego routed the cable for the oil cooler. And then I was able to tuck it back right there. So I'm plugged in here, plugged in there. I'm going to make sure I route all this. And then I'm going to plug in the tuner right here. Alright guys, so a little update, I uh, disconnected the tank and just uh, lifted it up, ran the wire up through here, so now I can connect it here, and now I'm going to connect PowerVision, and then I'm going to put it back in here, and I'm going to install the dash, and then show you guys what I get. Alright guys, so what I'm doing is I'm putting some foam in here, um, in hopes that it'll keep the power vision from sliding around. All right guys, I'm tired of messing with this and uh, it wasn't getting a real good fit, so I'm just gonna drill it bigger. Alright guys, I think I finally got this. Um, one thing I had to do was I had to drill those holes as you saw. I think on the website, uh, Kissel even says, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It may require some drilling. So, let's see if this seats all the way down. Gets a good seal. I'm looking for a good seal right here. Um, and then I also had to cut that foam over there and I got a big piece. I, I fit this like twice and the tuner was moving way more than this. So I cut a circular piece and put it right here and jammed it in there. That way uh, the power vision couldn't go anywhere. So got this tight. Alright, gotta check my seal. Good to go. Got one more bolt. It's right here. Alright, 
All right, we got her all hooked up. Just to recap, I had to drill holes on the stock dash in order to get the bolts to fit all the way through. And then I had to put this foam on top and on bottom to keep it from moving around. I lifted up or I disconnected the bottom uh, mounting position of the tank and I just picked it up and ran the wire underneath all the way up. So now we're gonna apply power and uh, show you guys what it looks like. So it looks like you can do a quick tune, auto tune, you can load a tune, check statuses, check live idle, um, vehicle info, uh, you can restore to the original tune. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. I'm really excited tomorrow to take this out for a ride and mess with it. And uh, I'll shoot a moto vlog, so I, I'll let you guys know um, what what comes up with it. I'm going to read the manual tonight, figure it all out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the PowerVision tuner install. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, on a difficulty scale, I would say that this is probably a six-pack. Uh, I did run into those two small issues of having to redrill the holes and then put the foam inside the console just to make sure that the tuner wasn't sliding around but besides those two uh, minimal issues i would say that uh, it's a pretty straightforward job definitely a six pack on the difficulty scale um, stay tuned or be on the lookout i am going to try to get uh, out on the road tomorrow to get a moto vlog and hopefully that'll be dropping in the next couple weeks let you guys know how the tuner is um, how it's performing and then you know a couple weeks couple months down the road I will uh, do another follow-up video on that I have not heard anything bad about this tuner uh, I do have a buddy who's um, running one on his Dyna and he loves it and uh, from what I've heard it's the best tuner on the market uh, I know Lego is running the uh, Vance and Heinz fuel pack also a very good tuner so if you're in the market for a tuner definitely check out the power vision um, but as always, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.